Hey buddies, it's Travis Brown here, and this is an episode of Rhonda's Kitchen. Today I'll be teaching you how to cook ginger chicken. It's a little play off of my father's old shoyu chicken recipe. Ginger chicken's out there, but this is my little recipe that I have going on. Rhonda's Quarantine Kitchen. The difference between shoyu and ginger, a big part of it is the way you cook it. Shoyu chicken is usually cooked for a very long period of time at lower temperatures. Uh, this will be ready to cook in about 30 minutes to an hour and we can fire up the grill and get it going. I would say that a couple years ago I was the primary cook in here at Browsy Acres. In the beginning, Rhonda was very timid about cooking. She thought it was a subservient kind of a thing. Um, and in my culture, the Hawaiian culture, cooking is a way that you show your love. So I cooked for a couple of her camps and um, even outside of camp whenever we'd eat at home and I was, I was the cook, I was cooking. I had no problem doing it. You are taking care of your family. You're loving your family. You're showing them that you care about them. Over the last couple of years, I think Rhonda saw that and she's kind of been taking it over from there. And she is the primary cook here now. We've both come to understand and really respect what it takes to provide for a family. It's not just the financial thing, but there's also a lot of love and care that goes into it. So this started off as my dad's dish. He actually, he was a pearman um, at the bigger hotels and he would, on his time off or his break times and anything like that, he would go and he would learn how to cook. While we're preparing this beautiful meal, <coughs> my fairly large dog has decided to go on a farting spree. My eyes are fucking watering right now. The onions and Chung's fart are making me sweat. So stinky. So we got done chopping one white onion. Um, we threw it in the bowl here. Um, we're gonna go ahead and chop one bunch of cilantro, bushel, bunch, group, bush, one thing of cilantro. I feel like people that taste cilantro and all they really taste is soap, they're missing out on a wonderful part of life because cilantro is so good. We got chicken bucket here. So any of the scraps from our chopping or any veggies or anything like that, we'll go ahead and go into the chickens. Um, one thing we absolutely love about them is they eat just about anything. There's some things you want to stay away from giving them, such as like avocados, anything pitted, um, because it has arsenic in it. Other than that, we throw all of our extras and scraps into this bucket, and at the end of the day, we go ahead and give it to the chickens. So now what we will go ahead and do is I will add one cup of soy sauce. Um, I like to use the Kikoman, the Aloha Shoyu is a little bit sweet for me um, for this recipe. Aloha Shoyu, if you're not familiar with it, is a Hawaiian brand of soy sauce. It has a little bit of a sweeter taste to it. I prefer it on my rice in general over the kikoman but for this recipe um, i like the little bit saltier flavor to it because we're already going to make it sweet with the brown sugar all of the ingredients that we're making right now is part of the marinade that we will put the chicken in one cup of kikoman shoyu um, it'll have one cup of water in it and then we'll have one cup of brown sugar and then just a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper um, we'll add one tablespoon of minced garlic and then we'll add about a tablespoon of freshly ground ginger. 
with this ginger, I pre-peeled it before we got started, just save us a little bit of time. But if you don't know how to do it, a Y peeler has worked best for me. Um, and you just kind of peel it like you would a potato. As you can see here, this nub, I left it on to show you guys in between, you can see kind of the skin is left over, but if you were to cut this off, like I did over here, it would smooth it out. Then you just take a little grater like so and grate away. I would say a half a tablespoon of ginger. The more ginger you put in this, in this marinade, obviously the more you're gonna taste it. Some people love ginger, put more in there. Some people not so much. Put a little bit less, it's okay. Just make it your own. That's what the greatest thing about cooking I've learned is that you can take a recipe, add to it, take away little things here and there and accommodate your taste or the taste for your family. As you can see on the back side of the um, grater, you are going to get most of your ginger. Just gonna mix it all together. Mix all the good things together. All the good smells combating the bad chunk smells in the room. If you can imagine what we're having to deal with. Add a little bit of salt. Even though the Kiko Monardi has quite a bit of salt. So I would say as a heavyweight um, while I was in camp, I would have eaten something like this. Definitely this with a little bit of rice and some, maybe some veggies on the side. It's a good rounded meal, but if you're one of the littles that have to cut weight, you're, you're not gonna wanna eat this. It sucks for you guys. So we do subscribe to Butcher Box to get some of our poultry. We don't have enough roosters because we use our eggs. We use our hens to produce eggs. Uh, we don't get enough roosters to have a consistent um, source of uh, poultry protein. We don't need to get beef from anywhere because in our mind you either have Kobe or you have Nobi. And we have Kobe, so we're not subscribing to getting beef from anywhere else. Um, any other kind of red meat, um, I'm usually hunting, whether it's bear, elk, deer. Um, we have gone turkey hunting and you know, we've eaten rabbit at times and stuff like that. So we're pretty well off in that category, but the poultry we need help with. So we subscribe to butcher box and this marinade with the amount it can get up to about, I would say five pounds of meat. I like chicken thighs for this recipe. Um, they stay tender. They stay juicy. They don't dry out in my opinion chicken breast has a tendency to dry out especially when you cook it over the grill and all that kind of stuff chicken thighs for me the way to go so now we're going to go ahead and put this in the refrigerator let it marinate for about the next hour or so and then we will go ahead and get our rice started this is a extra long enriched rice um i actually i really like jasmine rice um, basmati rice is really good as well today we're just going to use this this is what we have um i like to cook a little bit extra rice because you can always use it you know we can always give it to our chickens we can um, make other dishes with it i'm going to cook two cups of rice because um it's just it's a good amount for right now it'll get done probably about 45 minutes or so. And while I'm cooking this rice, the chicken is marinating in the fridge. So if you are not a proud owner of a Tiger rice cooker, you will want to do a two to one water to rice ratio. So one cup of rice, two cups of water, two cups of rice, four cups of water, etc. You get it. But with this, I'll have to do close. It is on plain rice. And I hit start. And in about an hour, we have some amazingly cooked rice. Ooh. All right, we're back in the kitchen after starting the grill. Um, let's check on the rice, it says done. So the rice is done. Now let's pull the chicken out and get to grilling. For these chicken thighs, we do 
about 380 degrees. You know, and it'll fluctuate. It'll go up and down quite a bit. But we do about 15 minutes per side. Um, I've noticed that that's, that's right around what works at that temperature and for this kind of meat. So one of the things that you can do with the sauce is go ahead and put it on the stove, put in a little pot here um, and put it on simmer. The reason you want to do that is it gets rid of the salmonella bacteria from the chicken that it was marinating in. We're going to go ahead, throw it on the stove, let it simmer for as long as it needs and we'll dress it up for you afterwards. Mmm. Tasty. Oh, it's already breaking apart. There we go. All right, guys. Rice is done. Chicken is done. Sauce is ready. Now it's time to feed my wife. Let's go, babe. You ready? Done. Yeah. And we'll just. Ooh, what's that? This is the marinade. Marinade. The sauce. Ooh. There you go, babe. Thanks, babe. <coughs> All right. Now for the moment. I'm ready for this. Good? Mm -hmm. Awesome. That is our ginger chicken recipe. Hope you guys enjoy. My wife does. I love it. And the crew's about to get their fair share of it here. Just a second. Six feet away. Catch. <laughs>